Hey everybody, The Motley Patriot here. Welcome to yet another edition of You Can Fix Anything with a Sawzall. Brought to you unofficially by Makita. <laughs> no, anyway, long story short. So we were uh, redoing our bathroom and uh, we uh, uh, were, it's a country house, so you probably can't do this anywhere except my house. So I make no representation one way or the other. But what I will tell you is I bought a lot of cool stuff at Lowe's. So over here, we had a vanity here, a tile sink and all that sort of stuff. We started looking at the cost to replace uh, accessories and all. And we came across this really cool idea. So, arguably, the sink in your kitchen is one thing. The sink in your laundry room is another. What if your laundry room's downstairs and you're upstairs and maybe you want to hand wash some lingerie before a nice, exciting evening with the missus? That's me wearing the lingerie, of course. Anyway, um, I saw this at... at, um, at oh, yeah, saw Fix anything with a saw on the right blade. It's long enough. So anyway, long story short... I found this really cool thing and I'm going to bring you up to speed of where I was at. So here we go. If you'll come with me. So here we have a sink and an attachment to the sink and we're going to a dishwasher. Now you're going to see that in a minute, but anyway, that, that stem that comes down, come over here real quick. Um, come on over here. You're going to look inside. So over here, we have the workings of what down here, what's called an S-trap. Okay, that's an S-trap. Why? Because it looks brought to you by the letter S. And we have a vent plug up here, the black thing, that allows it to drain more readily. And uh, But anyway, this cabinet, we got it a discount because there was a crack down there on the back, which you will not see. But we fasten it to the wall. It's level. It's plumb. And we don't, uh, we ignore everything that might give you a, an idea of the wall is level. It's an old house. The wall is not level. And we are squared with the room. And of course, the room has a wall that kicks in a little bit and rolls in a little bit in the back. That's from the other side of the house sinking a little bit, maybe 150 years ago. We're over that. We're building to the house as it sets now. So that being said, this guy is sitting pretty straight. But what you're going to catch now is, look at this. Now, when I'm going to brush my teeth, I want to be able to brush me some teeth. Anyway, quick pro tip. This right here, my friends, you get gaskets with these things. Everybody's like, I put the gasket in and it's leaking. Uh, and some go, Dad, I put the gasket in and it's leaking. And of course, I'm like, well, darling, do you know about plumber's putty? And she goes, why, no, Father, I don't. Well, and then she used the plumber's putty and all things came good. So a lot of times what you'll do is you'll add a roll, like a rolling, a jelly roll, a plumber's putty around there, even though you've got gaskets. And it's down below here, and I even put some in this attachment. But the idea is this. The plumber's putty will adjust for irregular surfaces. Now, oh, look at my acoustically different. So I have put up uh, on the top of this shelf because this thing is going to carry water. And a lot of times these shelves are not built that strong individually. So you want them to be strong as a unit. So I put adhesive caulk on the top of this shelf, which means I'm going to glue this entire ceramic sink in place for stability. I am now dropping this in place, and there it is. Look at that. So this sink now has basically, I think Elon Musk would appreciate it. I'm using stainless steel, so this would be a, an Elon Musk approved sink most likely. Probably uh, we'll call this our uh, Tesla sink. But anyway, look what we have now. So normally the sink in the bathroom, you could barely brush your teeth in it or anything else. And this is still a small footprint for a sink because look at how big this sink is. Let me grab a tape measure. You know, I got a thousand tape measures, but when I need one, they are nowhere to be found. So this is a very small footprint. This is a two by two by 21 sink base. And look, it's all sink. You could, wa the, you could wash your hair in here. You could wash your baby in here, although I don't recommend anything. Uh, check with your doctors if it's okay to wash your baby in a stainless steel sink. I don't know. Now, I'm sure Elon Musk would love to wash his babies in a stainless steel Tesla-styled sink. Now, this is not officially approved by Tesla, but these are easy to clean. My favorite cleaner is Bar uh, Keith's friend. Uh, we'll dress it up real well. So I want you to come take a peek in here. So we got this kit. Look at this over here. Style section. Everything for installation included. Well, not really everything. That's kind of a misnomer because I had to find the S-trap to go into the pipe. Um, I also had to find... This was tricky. 
Yeah, there's so there's your S trap there. I got this at Home Depot and or Lowe's, and of course it wasn't uh, on display. I had to; it was in a box somewhere else where nobody could find anything. Anyway, long story short, the tricky piece was the stem that came down. But anyway, long story short, so what I'm going to do here? So I've got this guy in place. I've got what you see here is the S trap, which adjusts for everything, and now I'm just going to fasten this S trap together. And we will have, and of course you see I came with PVC and then went to my straight pipe and to my S-trap kit. And you want to make sure this goes in without any sort of stress or strain. And make sure everything's a little loose and in place before I tighten them all down collectively. Because these are not really strong, but I do like them because one of the nice features of these is that they do in fact adjust well there's a little flexibility in these whereas if you had stainless steel or or um, a non-flexible surface but basically this trap that you see here is for water which stops the gas from your septic system from coming in the room and choking you or making your bathroom smell like poo poo from 16 years ago so anyway this system all works together really well we're going to let that glue dry up and we will show you in part two our little tricky trick that we're going to use to put in an all-in-one stainless steel, Elon Musk styled, washer and dryer. One of those micro apartment washers and dryers. So our fine Mrs. Motley Patriot can do her lingerie before an evening of uh, making fun of me as to how I look at her lingerie. Anyway, I'm kidding. It's not true, Motley Patriot. Welcome to another happy edition of this really old house. And uh, I think when you see the finished product, you'll be really pleased. And we can also show us our $100 discount jacuzzi tub that's every bit as good as something fancy in one of those high-dollar hotels. Anyway, like and subscribe, hit the notification button, or just block me and never come back again. It's all good. It's all good. You know what? You're, you're, you're missing out. You don't get to see the lunacy or some of the tricky trickeries. But I think you're going to really appreciate what this, what this um, pure function brings to what would normally be just a place where you could walk, brush your teeth and, and blow your nose, I suppose. But anyway, I think you'll appreciate it. Thanks for dialing in. See you guys in a really, 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 really old house.